I wanted to show my new power 210 watt solar panels before I get them mounted up on my trailer what I've done uh, see if I can get zoomed in here I went around it with one half by eighth inch aluminum I cut some 45's in with my hand grinder and had to beat them with some hammer I don't have the tools to do proper metal working but it worked out pretty good I wanted to put a frame around it to help protect it uh, hold them together bolts on top I have you can't really see it I'm here in my lean to but one two three four five bolts in between each panel to hold them together there bolt on top each one so it's a sturdier set of solar panels when I get them mounted anything hopefully hit anything it doesn't tear up my solar panels with that extra protection on there uh, I've got to say of all the stuff I bought for this I am well pleased with these new power solar panels they're double thickened wall in between for the frames I, I don't even know if I'd have had to put the aluminum on there other than you know if I hit a big bird or something it might did it and crack it so I wanted to put that on there since I'm gonna be lifting them up and down have a little more strength to it but wherever these are gonna cross well, I don't know how bad the light is. I can't see, but hopefully you can. Wherever the frame's going to cross, I've got some aluminum to put in, and I will bolt it. Uh, I have some cardboard on there, so when I slide them up, I ain't tearing up the paint I got on there. But as you can see, the cross bracing, it's going to be a bit of an eighth inch gap between the frame I put on the outside and my bed rail frame. So that's what the little pieces of aluminum are for when I get it set down on top of there. Anywhere that it's going to have a gap, I didn't want to tighten down and put pressure on it. So I cut them aluminum pieces of shims and that should take care of it. There's my, uh, there's my lift. Uh, works great so far with no panels on there. Hopefully that works out the same when I get the panels on there and bolted. But I wanted to uh, show you my panels. I don't know. Take a shot out here. Maybe it'll be better. You can see it of what I did with the corners and beat them around. Uh, sorry about the crappy recording. When I can't see, I don't know what I'm getting on there. But hopefully you can see good enough. So what I've done for making them stronger and hopefully bulletproof as much as possible when they're up on the trailer. Uh, them holes in there, when I bolted it down, I did get a little bit of pinching and bending, but not too bad as tough as this stuff is. Hmm. I don't really see anywhere there. Okay, here on the outside edge, I don't know if you can see it. When I bolted it down, it separated just a little bit there, but other than that, that's the only only warping all the torture I put this through. The only thing I really would complain about on these panels is whoever cocked it in the corner. They did a crappy job in pretty much every corner. Other than that, I am well pleased. Uh, you can see it up there that one, but that's going to be uh, on the downside and out of the rain So I don't think it's going to matter too much, but I just wanted to show you these new power solar panels I didn't see a lot on them. I only found one uh, One guy that did a video and it was on cleaning them. So I wanted to throw it on there. They're I don't write around $200 a panel for the 210 watts, but the construction of them man I after seeing what some people throw up on their trailer and how flimsy they are I was more than ecstatic with uh, the way these are built, so I just wanted to share that. Thank you, and God bless.